A positive movement is turning the chapter in Greenville's history. TEDx Unity Park is where innovators, dreamers, and doers are going to unite on February 24th to put words to action among young professionals. We're joined by two gentlemen here that are behind this event, Evan Rogers and Dr. Capo Satella. Welcome, guys. Happy to have you here. Happy to be here. So Thanks. those who know about you know TED Talks are very excited for this event. For, for those who might not know what TEDx is, how is this being localized? Evan, we'll start with you. Um, I think what's been a really cool opportunity that kind of dropped into our laps was we, to put the theme around Unity mm -hmm. in Unity Park, that was a name we actually didn't choose. It was part of our list of names we offered the TED Commission and they yeah. chose that name, which we thought was really neat. And then we've come, you know, we've talked about this a lot. We feel like it's a bit of a daunting task mm. trying to tell all of the things that go with Unity Park. There's so much history there. There's a lot of, um, on the marketing side, a lot of force, I think, behind the Unity moniker that we try to use. Absolutely. But I think the way that we're able to use TEDx a little differently mm -hmm. is we are really trying to focus it toward young entrepreneurship that's mm -hmm. so budding in the city and small right. business. So mm -hmm. I think that's mm -hmm. been a really easy way to throttle this event in a, in a cool light, you know. Wow. Well, you're bringing 15 incredibly talented, passionate speakers, all notable in their craft. So what sort of topics, you know, Kaipo, are they going to be talking about? So it's going to be a really wide array and sort of depth and mm. breadth of information. So we have nice. some, like Kayling, for example. Kayling, she's the owner of Sunbar, mm -hmm. really, really awesome young entrepreneur in this area. She's next up. She's my vote for, <laughs> for just Everything. a great person <laughs> in, yeah, yeah. in the upstate. Um, but she's going to be talking about making your ego your friend and mm -hmm. so like you know when you listen to that you're like it's pretty jarring it's like oh yeah ego is never necessarily a positive thing mm -hmm. but she's going to talk about how you can use that in a healthy way mm -hmm. and giving you respect for yourself mm -hmm. to be able to give out to others as well so mm -hmm. things like that so we have conversations like that mm -hmm. but then we'll talk about eric weir who's a incumbent entrepreneur in the area he's developed multiple properties downtown and he's on an international stage he's written this book called who's eating your pie he's going to talk about how to 30x your productivity with three steps so like just productivity side hmm. um, how can he help you get the most out of your day so mm -hmm. we have like talks like that talks on this end we have one by an artist from new york called russ or named Russ Rubin, and he's gonna talk about dancing with a bear, how to do art your way. Come so we've on. got, uh, there's just three examples of nice. our 15 speakers that really can can cover a whole lot of mm. topics and mm -hmm. all of it toward the idea that there's a breadth and, and depth in this community uh, here in the upstate mm -hmm. in entrepreneurship and in ideas and, and positive change. We just wanted to harness that all under one roof at wow. TEDx Unity Park. Man, it is all kicking off there at the Croc Center. Cannot wait for these speakers to have that platform because not everybody can get together. And when you get those kind of heavy hitters, then the ideas really do start yeah. flying. Mention young professionals. So what type of what type of person are you really trying to grab for this event? We actually did promo around that exact question. I think we really just want people that are hungry mm -hmm. in the community. I think it's going to naturally feel like young entrepreneurship because mm -hmm. of us too. We're in our 20s and we're trying to figure this out, which is also, I think, a unique identifier behind getting a TEDx license. Mm -hmm. It's not something that happens to young people that much, which is really exciting. Um, but I think we really want a hungry, energetic Greenville group at mm -hmm. this event. And Greenville meaning not just localized. I sure. think there's been, we were talking just before about how many people have transplanted to this area. Mm -hmm. And so I think this event will have a lot of really strong ideas toward mm -hmm. growth in this area, growth in the community. Um, you know, uh, one thing I said, I think specifically about it is we will have a very strong entrepreneurial bent. It's not intentional. <laughs> I think I said in the, in the promo that all of our speakers, I think are an entrepreneur in some form or fashion, but we're excited for subject matter experts and people that yes. want to just improve in mm -hmm. their skill sets to be there. Cause there is going to be a lot of idea exchange, which mm -hmm. is a huge part of Ted. And I think a lot of people will be able to benefit from just conversations and general, you know, mm. relationship building within that room mm. and outside mm. of it. So that's good. That was good. Very, yeah, very we're just well like, mm. <laughs> <Very> <laughs> so well exciting, guys. Well, I mean, yeah, being young yourselves, I think, you know, you're going to turn a lot of maybe people that are veterans in the business's heads. So thank you for stepping out, being bold, gathering so many world changing people right here in the upstate. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Absolutely. February 24th at the Croc Center. You can grow and expand both your personal and potential growth. We're going to put tickets to this event, although they're going fast, I imagine, on accesscarolina.com.